This is Anthony Galliano with your B2B Cambodia update for June 5th. The Cambodia Securities Exchange was down 1.19 points or a half a percent to 410.33. This is the sixth straight session the index has closed down with the last update being May 27th. Volume on the main board was very light with only 191,292 shares changing hands for a total trading value of 225,000. It was a sea of red today on the main board with all stocks either negative or unchanged. Pestec Cambodia was the biggest loser of the day, dropping 60 real or 2.62% to 2,230 real per share on very light volume of 213 shares. Volume leader Royal Group Nampen Special Economic Zone lost 40 real or 1.76% to 2,230 real per share. Both stocks on the growth board were up, however, with JS Land rising 80 real per share to 4,280 real per share, and DBD Engineering up 20 real per share to 2,210 real per share. In corporate news, airline operator Cambodia Airlines filed for an initial public offering with the Securities and Exchange Commission to list on the U.S. market, the U.S. NASDAQ capital market under the symbol CAKR. The company is offering 1.5 million Class A ordinary shares at an estimated price of $4 to $5 each. Assuming the sale of 1.5 million shares at $4 each, the company expects to net proceeds of about $4.6 million from the offering. It plans to use the proceeds for aircraft leasing, new air routes development, and working capital purposes. In its F-1 registration statement filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the company stated, We are an emerging growth company as defined in Section 3A of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 and are therefore eligible for certain exemptions under various reporting requirements. We are and will continue to be a controlled company within the meaning of the NASDAQ stock market rules due to the fact that Mr. Kang Hua Ng will beneficially own more than 50% of our total voting power after the offering. Shares are not entitled to a dividend or a distribution of the company's assets, including any distribution of assets to shareholders on a winding down. The company further stated, Cambodia Airways is the sole full-service airline based in Cambodia. We primarily operate from Phnom Penh, the country's capital, and provide commercial airline services throughout China and Southeast Asia. Our established aviation network spans a five-hour radius that encompasses the Asia-Pacific region, and our core market currently resides in mainland China and Southeast Asia. We are a holding company incorporated in the Cayman Islands with no operations and conduct all our airline operations through our operating subsidiary, Cambodia Airways Co. Ltd. In 2023 and 2022 respectively, the operating subsidiary carried 151,807 and 22,636 passengers and had passenger revenue of approximately US dollars 20.25 million and 20.39 million. For the six months ended December 31st, 2023 and 2022, the operating subsidiary carried 142,181 and 54,356 passengers and had passenger revenue of approximately US dollars 17.91 million and US dollars 9.16 million respectively. We had a net loss of approximately 28.54 million US dollars and negative cash flow from operating activities of approximately $8.81 million for the year ended June 30th, 2023. For the six months ended December 31st, 2023, we had a net loss of approximately US dollars 11.33 million and negative cash flow from operating activities of approximately 2.24 million. As of the date of this prospectus, we have a fleet of six aircraft consisting of Airbus A319 and A320 series airliners. As of the date of the prospectus, the average age of our Airbus A319s and A320s is 15 years and five years respectively. In a disclosure press release, Golden Tree Green Bond announced a semi-annual coupon payment on its 7% bond, which will be payable on June 6th.
The Khmer real remains weak at 4,107 per US dollars on a flat US dollar index of 104.33. As of the close of business Cambodia time, Brent crude is taking a break from its big drop of 3% on Monday, unchanged at 77 US dollars a barrel. In a surprise move, eight OPEX plus producers laid out a plan to phase out 2.2 million barrels in production cuts starting in October. That decision has turned the market in a bearish direction. Gold is up $4.60 an ounce to $2,352 an ounce. Overnight, the Dow was up 140.26 points to 38,711.29. Futures are currently pointing up 46 points. In pre-market action, NVIDIA's shares were up $14.37 to $1,164.37. The stock has risen 174% over the last year, 122% to date. The company's stock has jumped 25% in the last 30 days, thanks to another earnings beat and continued dominance in AI. This has been Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia.